Hello you guys and welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. My name is Mandy and I'm really glad that you're here today. So I am planning what actually is the current week that you are seeing this. Um, usually I put these out a little bit earlier but I had some other videos I wanted to get out to you guys so that's okay though. Um, I always feel like you can always get something out of them and it doesn't always have to be the exact day or week, right? But I just wanted to let you guys know um, the goal for this week for me is to change it up a little bit. I was using each section um, in particular and this time I kind of just want to use the whole bottom section as a like decorative inspiration motivation type area. I have this goal getter um, I don't know like sort of habit tracker thing <laughs> that I'm putting in here and I don't know I'm just really excited to make this bottom section more for um, just like a different use so before I was using the top as you know events and reminders and then the second section I was using for my home care and cleaning stuff like that and then the third section I was using for memories which I really did like um, and I knew when I made that a memory section that it would probably end up um, just kind of being something almost like a like a journal. And I wasn't even putting pressure on myself to do it every day, which is fine. But I would sometimes write something memorable there. And I knew that it wasn't going to get looked back at as often as say like a monthly or an actual memory keeping journal. So in a way I kind of used it as just like just like a nice um, end of the day or if I didn't even do it at the end of the day, maybe I did it after a couple days. Just a nice way to think back and try to remember some just nice things that happened over the week, which is always good for you, right? But this time I decided to try to incorporate it a little bit differently and I'm really excited um, to try it out. This section is my catch-all section. As you can see, um, or as you've heard me say, I basically put all these different things here. I like to pre-plan using this section, so I write out what I know is going on in the week, what I really wanna get done. It's kind of like a to-do section. Um, and then every day or every couple of days, I go back and visit it and make sure that I am getting, you know, getting the things I wanna get done, following the goals that I had, and just kind of reflecting on the week. So. That's what this section is. If I'm being honest, um, it's not my most used section, but it is definitely good for my brain. <laughs> and it is definitely helpful for me to um, think about things ahead of time and then also go back and reflect on them. And I just have a lot of fun with this planner because it's an older squad goals planner and I can't really find planners like this anymore right now. I don't know if squad goals is just not um, getting like if they're not coming out with that much or maybe you guys can let me know if there are some things out there. I even went on Amazon the other day and found some sticker books that I ended up getting that are I think they're older because one of them says 2018. So I guess that, you know, would be older, but it's I can't find them on the Happy Planner website or anything right now. So definitely um, into this squad goal stuff right now. It's perfect for me for spring and summer and all of that. So I'm just um, having fun using this planner and not that I'm like forcing it, but since I love the theme of the planner, you know, I'm finding use with it and I'm happy about that. So you guys all know that I don't put the pressure on myself to have to use a planner just because it's dated, although I do love me some undated planners. I also know that you can change things up and it's okay, but you know, sometimes it's not the easiest to do. So I'm definitely trying to use this planner and honestly, it just kind of makes me happy to see it. So because it's, su it's actually not even summer, right? But because it's almost summer and it's really hot where I'm at, I'm trying to make it more, more goal oriented, um, happy, bright colors. I also like to put the dinners on the side, which you'll see in a little bit. Right now I have them written down on sticky notes, but I end up trying to like put those dinners on the left side there. So I have, you know, our options for dinners. I also use 
a one, two, three rating system to where I can tell myself if we would end up having that again. Um, you know, three is yes, two is maybe, and one is absolutely not. <laughs> so I'm just going to go ahead and get to planning here. Oh, and if I didn't mention, I am using the bookish, um, the bookish sticker book. And I think the other one is called, is it called goals? I don't have it right in front of me as I'm doing this voiceover. So I'm really sorry, but um, yeah, I think it's the goals one. I will link both of them down below. And um, yeah, if you want and you know, you can correct me in the comments as well. So enjoy the rest of this um, plan with me. And I actually wanted to go ahead and let you know of the Thursday and Saturday video. I actually have my stuff together and I am ready to let you guys know of that. So on Thursday, come back and join me for my DIY planner sheets for June. I'm going to kind of go over those, like the ones that I've made for June and explain them. Although I'm always going over new ones, but I'm going to explain to you guys what I have so far. And then on Saturday, we're talking my favorite happy planner items. So if you're new to happy planner or you're just curious what my favorites are, um, head on over there on Saturday. So um, that's the lineup for this week so far. If something changes because of life, I apologize, but that's what it is so far. And I really look forward to sharing them with you. And I hope that you guys will subscribe if you are new. Turn on that notification bell if you're wanting to see when those are posted. But like I said, Thursday and Saturday. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this. Will join me on Instagram at Mandy underscore Chavez Chapters. We'll hit the like button if you like what I ended up doing here. And I'll see you guys on Thursday for my next video. Bye.